Hi everybody, this is Roxy, and I just wanted to share a project that I've been working on. I call them Boopsy Wine Glasses. Um, I saw an idea like this out at the State Fair with a friend of mine. Um, they didn't have the, the beads, we're just using, you know, these are kind of, you put them in a flower vase. Everybody uses those. But anyways, um, they are super cute and they're pretty easy if you can paint if you can get paint on a brush you're good to go so I just want to kind of go over some of the steps I'm using um, the new Martha Stewart multi-purpose paint multi-surface and it is the nicest paint um, you know for right now on, it's on sale at Michaels for $1.39 but it's only a two dollar bottle of paint um, and it really goes on smooth at least on the glass I'm sure it's going to go on smooth on other projects too. But here are some of them that I've done. I've on this one I put a little black pearl necklace, and um, I did her up in kind of a zebra um, pink and black print. And then I'm just putting polka dots on the bat on the around the glass. <clears throat> this one is just kind of a little. I have a black dress series. Um, I saw an idea like this on the internet somewhere. So this is not my original idea, um, doing the dress like this, but it's turned out really cute. I love the flower. And then, this one is my Morticia Adams slash 62 Barbie dress, um, or 58 Barbie. <clears throat> my sister actually had the Barbie dress like this. Um, so I did that, and then I used some of her glitter. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. In her line, she has metallics, satin, um, glitter paint, gloss, and I think there's a, another one, but um, I've been using the metallics and the satin and um, glitter. So I love how this one turned out. I got a little crazy with the necklace down here again. So I hope you can see these. Um, <clears throat> the trick with the boopsies is, we found out the hard way, um, to cure the paint on the glass, you can either set it on a shelf and leave it alone and don't touch it for 21 days. Um, that is, don't wash it, don't use it, you know, because you're going to have to wash it. Or you can put it in an oven, and the oven method is... <clears throat> To set your glasses in on a cookie sheet, probably with an aluminum foil piece down, and set them up like this, and um, turn the oven on to 350, let it heat up to 350, and then bake it for a half hour, and turn it off, and don't take the glasses out until they've cooled down. However, if you're going to do that, if you're going to cure it that way, then you can only make the non boopsy glasses, because... <clears throat> One of my friends, when we got done, she put all her glasses in the oven and all of these slid off. And at the time, we thought it was because of the glue hadn't cured for 24 hours. But another friend just did one of her glasses tonight, and we painted these last Sunday. Um, Lori did hers that night, and they all came sliding off. And Nancy just did a glass tonight after letting the, dry, the glue dry and cure for a week just about in it, they still slid off. So I got online and checked around for glue. I think the only glue that is um, can withstand heat up to that temperature is probably going to be an industrial glue. Um, I used E6000 on some of my glasses um, glue and then we also used Eileen's glass and bead glue and the glass and bead glue is the glue that did not withstand the heat. Um, I'm not even going to try it with my other ones because I checked the website for E6000. That's only good up to 150 degrees. So you can also make them like this, which is a little more tasteful for some people. Um, <clears throat> I see nothing wrong with these because it's just a fun, whimsical thing. Here's another um, dress without the boopsies and some little fun slippers. Um, oh, here's the glitter. Excuse my reach. This is all glitter, um, what I did on this, and that's about four layers of glitter paint because it is pretty see-through.
But anyway, so I will okay, get the first started. thing you want to do is to kind of prep your glass and um, any glass painting instructions say to use just rubbing alcohol. Um, some paint companies, I know Plaid has a special cleaning um, product, but I'm going to guess it's a rubbing alcohol packaged nicely. So we're just going to do this. And this is pretty much to um, take off any extra oils from your fingerprints. And I'm guessing to just kind of prepare it for that surface or that paint. So um, you just want to clean that up where you're going to be painting. And you know, you're going to be touching it again, so it's not like horrible if you get your fingers on there, but that's just to give it a good, you know, good clean. <clears throat> so now I will get some paint. I'm going to do a leopard print. Oh, and here's another tip. Um, for drinking glasses, you don't want to paint, you know, you want to kind of give it a, about an inch here. Uh, you know, if you've got somebody that bogarts their glass, you might keep it down lower. But you don't want to paint up to the lip because um, it's, you know, can be toxic, I'm guessing, to suck on paint all night. But anyways, <clears throat> excuse me, that's just a suggestion from the paint companies. Um, I bought these uh, camel hair brushes. I would suggest those. They're just going to let the paint, they're just going to be easier to um, get that paint on. I prefer camel hair or natural hair fibers rather than um, ac acrylic paint brushes. Okay, so I just like this this silhouette of a dress. Um, <clears throat> and it's just kind of a bombshell style, Betty Page-ish. I'll dress. <clears throat> Excuse me. And when I had my friends over, um, I had three friends over, and everybody is at a different level of painting, and <clears throat> everybody had a great time. Um, I think this would be a fun girls night out or girls night in or um, you know like a bachelorette activity <laughs> I know you probably are laughing about that but I think it's a just a fun project to do um, have a little party and get together so I'm ginna leave this down here kinda like that cuz I kinda like that just clean that up a little bit and this is very forgiving um, Painting on glass. I mean, I just kind of scratched that away. All right, so I'm going to just kind of uh, do an another bit of paint here. And <clears throat> when you're painting, especially on glass, you want to try to do long strokes. Um, I was able to clean up some there. But if you, if you, if you sit and dab at it like that, you're going to get, you're going to move the paint around too much so it's, you're going to be able to see right through it. This is pretty good. I... I'm going to do leopard print on here, or maybe a cheetah print. I don't know what it's going to end up looking like. An animal print. And so I'm not worried about those little see-through spots. There's only a couple. It's not bad. So I'm just going to leave it. After that, I'm going to leave it, and it will dry, and I'll be back. Okay, so the first coat is pretty dry. It's not, you know, it doesn't have to be completely dry. So I'm just going to put some... I've got um, copper. The first color I used was vanilla bean. And that's another thing, her colors are really nice. Of course, leave it to Martha. And I'm, I kind of realized that I don't even know what kind of animal I'm doing because the one I had in mind, I think they have a, a, a cream color or light coat with spots on it, so I'm just going to make my own animal print. We'll see how it turns out. I 
I'm also going to make a cheerleader for my neighbor. Her and her husband both went to the U of M, so every gopher game, they pull out their little um, stadium chairs and have a brewski. And, you know, they first they plant the U of M flag in their front lawn. <laughs> then they pull out their little stadium chairs and have a, a wine and a brewski and off they go to the game. So I'm going to make her a wine glass and paint him a beer stein. I'm not sure, um, I'd like to put Goldie Gopher on the beer stein, but I'm not a painter, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with his. But I did start hers, and that's her little cheerleader dress with some pom-poms. So I kind of hope that'll turn out for her. All right, now that this glass, if you notice, I just did a, I didn't do a decolletage up here. I'm just going to do the boopsies on there. But this one I did because I'm not going to put the bubbles on. I'm just going to leave the girls as is. We'll see how that looks. Because it does, I don't mind how that turns out too. It's nice. Again, if there's somebody that might not appreciate or get into those boopsies, then you can just do it without. And then if you do it without, you can cure these in the oven and that will take just an hour or two instead of 21 days. But hopefully there will show up, some glue, some glue will show up that can withstand 350 degrees. <coughs> And I just keep applying the paint because you don't want it to get uh, too thin because, you know, it's kind of hard to go over again. And This way it'll just be nice and coated. Okay. All right. Oops, so that's that coat. And then I will come back with the next one. Okay. Um, I don't have to wait for those spots to dry because... I'm not going to paint over them, so I'm back. I want to get my sleeve in there. Okay, so you get the idea. I will come back and not what make you watch all this. All right, so I finished the um, one glass, and I put feathers on the bottom of the dress and up at the sleeve. And this is the one I'm not going to put boopsies on. And then on the bottom of the glass, I don't know if you can see it, I put um, just some blobs of the metallic colors and then some little panther feet. So I don't know if this is a panther or a tiger, well not a tiger, cougar, I don't know. It's some kind of 
leopard. <laughs> Anyways, these are so much fun. I've already made about 15 or 20 of them. Um, I'm not going to do the glue the boopsies on because all you do is, you know, I think the best was Eileen's um, glass and bead glue that, that we used. And you just put a little bit on the back, set it on here, and kind of just, you know, push it around a little bit. And make sure when you're choosing your beads that you get two that are similar in shape and size. Um, just like in real life. But then you just glue these on, and you do have to kind of sit and hold them for about a minute or two so the glue sets up. And then just come back and do just paint on any kind of decolletage you want or bodice of the dress. And you will end up with one of these or one of these. And so you can just do the glass. Here's another one that I showed. You know, just kind of different, different styles of bodices. Here's a little Santa sexy elf. Um, so I hope you try it. It's so much fun, and I think they'll make nice gifts, and it could be a fun party. We had a great time when we were doing it. So enjoy. Thanks for watching.